So now finals day truly gets going as we head out onto the circuit for our first of six first finals here in Adria. And it's Micromax up first. Here's the starting grid for final one. So Dragos Avisilkultai and Jakob Gasparovic will be on the front row. Maximilian Pilch and Noah Janssen will be on row number two. Paul Schoen from Switzerland and Boaz Maximov in the number 30, well, 41 and 30 respectively, row three. Maxim Becker in the 55 and Branislav Rentka in the 15, that's row four. Completing the top 10, it is Marcel Zibo in the 78 and the number 48 of Tom Pappenberg. The 84 of Jan Stenzel and the 95 of Gabriel Hoffmann rounds out the top six rows. The 91 of Felix Kiss and the 27 of Christos Malakos, that's row seven. Rounding out the 17 strong grid, it will be Michael Soltis and the 43, the 26 of Alex Manessis and the 22 of Leopold Schuch from Germany. So on this particular occasion, it is going to be 11 minutes plus an additional lap here at Adria as opposed to the seven minutes plus an additional lap that they would have had in their heats earlier on yesterday. So now, as always, good to see that the, uh, the Micromax drivers, as always, get themselves into position rather, rather quickly. And that's one of the good things. They learn that as one of the main first skill sets of uh, getting themselves into battle here today. So the drivers get themselves ready and steeled for battle. 11 minutes plus an additional lap to go here in this first of two finals and whoever takes the victory in this one will be in prime position for the final the second final later on today as now are we ready are we steady looks like we've got a good start and they're off and away and it looks like Drago Savicilicultai has already got an initial advantage going into turn one and Jakub Kasparovic has gone with and there's an absolute gaggle it's three abreast going through the exit of turn two uh, but they've managed to make it all through there so some good running from the drivers there as such. And now it's a breakaway from the top two. And uh, these drivers will be able to get themselves going. And we are just on and it's three wide for third place going through turn seven. Some absolutely epic driving from these youngsters. So Tom Pappenberg. Uh, running in eighth behind Branislav Rentka in the number 15. Uh, Gabriel Hoffman has made it up from 12th to 10th position. This is uh, Gabriel's first international racing event. He's been racing nationally in Germany last season in the Rotax Max German National Championship. But you can see here that Dragos Avicilkultai and Jakob Gasparovic, they are battling away for the lead, but a little bit further back. Noah Janssen is battling away with Boris Maximov and Paul Schoen and Maxime Becker. That is the four-way squabble. Make that five-way squabble with Tom Pappenberg in the 48 quickly closing in on them. That is for third place. Uh, so Noah Janssen trying to do his level best. Paul Schoen trying to get past Boris Maximov going through turn five. As a little bit further back, it's two abreast going through six and someone's run wide. That's Gabriel Hoffman. And there is Branislav Rentzka uh, trying to get through on, uh, mini uh, I think that was the 78 of Marcel Zibo from Hungary. Uh, some very clean action from these drivers going side by side through certain parts of the circuit itself. Nine minutes plus an additional lap still remaining in this first of two finals. Avisil Kultai leads the way and also holds the fastest lap of this race. A 58-2-0-2. And they've got a bit of a breakaway. That's good for both Avisil Kultai and Gasparovic. The gap between Gasparovic and Janssen last time was the best part of what was it. That is well over 1.5 seconds on that particular occasion. So... Uh, in that respect, these drivers are not giving up. They are they are fighting tooth and nail. And this is what you want to see. You want to see clean, fast, good racing. 
and here is where it all counts as now you know, you know Janssen as oh now there's been a turnaround one has been that is the 26 of Alex Manessis the biggest casualty unfortunately I've seen Boaz Maximov in the 30 from the Netherlands was running alongside Noah Janssen and Paul Schoen didn't see whether there was a little bit of contact maybe between the two but Paul Schoen trying to go around the outside of Noah Janssen going into T1 but Janssen I think might have just gotten ahead and go through turn two. Janssen back up in front. Pappenberg. There's Maxime Becker. So that's the four-way scrap over third position. So Noah Janssen from FM Racing leads that at the minute. And he's gone deep and defensive on the very first part. But there's a change for the lead. Gasparovic has got up the inside through Avisil Kutai on the exit coming out of turn five. And managed to get the job done before going around the outside of turn six. Brilliant work there by KF Racing's Jakob Gasparovic. And that was a pretty good opportunity for the youngster running on the Croc Promotion chassis to get past. And we saw that yesterday that Gasparovic uh, did have a victory over Dragos Avisil Kultai in the third and final heat. But Paul Schoen and Noah Janssen banging down each other's doors at the minute, but Schoen up the inside of Janssen through turn one for third on the road. And Janssen not giving up. And then I've seen that Branis, uh, Branislav Rentka uh, on the Croc Promotion chassis from Slovakia has also caught up to this gaggle and is starting to chase. Gabriel Hoffman up to eighth position. So we'll be chasing down. And that is Paul Schoen, who's lost out to Tom Pappenberg in the meantime. So Maxim Becker and there's... Uh, Branislav Rentka, Gabriel Hoffmann has been doing personal best after personal best. The youngster from Germany on the 95 Marinello chassis of 58.283. Uh, so whilst those that are up ahead are battling, this could give an opportunity for Gabriel Hoffmann to close that gap. And that gap looks to be coming down. Gabriel Hoffmann was 0.8 of a second behind. He's now 0.5 behind Maxim Becker, who's just been passed by Branislav Rentska as Av uh, Avisil Kultai now going on the offensive. And sometimes they say the best defense is a good offense. Well, uh, Gasparovic is being offensive in defending and Avisil Kultai is being offensive whilst uh, being uh, on the offense. As now you can see here, it's a four-way scrap. So Janssen, Pappenberg, Paul Schoen, Branislav Rentska. And just behind them, ah, Gabriel Hoffman has just caught up well and truly to Maxim Becker as Tom Pappenberg looking up the inside as is Paul Schoen on Noah Janssen. Pappenberg gets through to third place. Paul Schoen comes under fire from Branislav Retka who goes up the inside of the Swiss driver through uh, turn 10. So a great bit of racing display by these young drivers. Five minutes and 10 seconds to go and Avisil Kultai still close to Gasparovic as Noah Janssen stays in third as Pappenberg gets pounced up on the inside by Rentka. But, uh, and Rentka gets the position. Also, Paul Schoen's got through. There's Gabriel Hoffman. And Maxime Becker has dropped like a stone. He's actually gotten behind uh, Marcel Zibo from Hungary. So Gabriel Hoffman has already gotten uh, the charge into the top seven and now has a ringside seat for third place because look at this melee in front. Pappenberg against Schoen. Janssen up the inside of Rentke for third position. Now Hoffman looking for an opportunity. Paul Schoen tries to dive bomb up the inside. And look at Gabriel Hoffman. Look at the positioning from the youngster. And he's going to go up the inside up into sixth position from E12. Great driving so far from Gabriel Hoffman. And I'm sure that some of his... Uh, Friends over at Knees Racing, probably the likes of Matthias Schulter and Kenyon Washington uh, from Rotax Germany are watching right now. And I hope they're cheering him on. They're probably jumping up and down off their chairs at the minute. But Paul Schoen gets back up the inside of Gabriel Hoffman on that particular occasion as Branislav Rentka trying to get back past Noah Janssen for third place. Tom Pappenberg well in the hot seat. Gabriel Hoffman trying to get past Paul Schoen. And then we have uh, Marcel Zebo coming into the, uh, the equation as there goes Zarenka. And that is a move and a half. What a perfect switchback by Tom Pappenberg. Dispatches both Renka and Janssen in one fell swoop. And Renka's now tumbling. Renka's now tumbling because Paul Schoen and Gabriel Hoffman have gotten past as well. I think also uh, KMS Europe's Marcel Zebo has also got through. 
So this is all change. Musical chairs in Micromax. Oh, this is absolutely brilliant so far. Three and a quarter minutes still to go. And we've got a fight on our hands for P3. Pappenberg switches to the outside of Janssen. Paul Schoen looks for the, M uh, the opportunity up the inside. And it gets shut rather quickly into turn two. Janssen goes defensive again. Pappenberg, Hoffman now up ahead. And was there a bit of contact? Oh, that's Marcel Zebo went over the back bumper of Gabriel Hoffman on the approach into turn two. So the Hungarian's race has gone from bad to worse by the snap of her fingers. But that means that I've just seen, that's Maximilian Pirch, I believe. Yes, that is the number 11 from Germany who started in third position, tumbled down the order and it's all kicking off. Noah Janssen's dropped from third to sixth position at the drop of a hat. There's Maximilian Pilch. Felix Kiss from Hungary also in there from KMS Europe. So it's all change. And there is a change again. Paul Schoen's just being pounced on by Gabriel Hoffman. And uh, Matthias Schulte has just messaged me on Instagram saying, yes, we are watching. And what an awesome drive from my teammate Gabriel. Well, it's absolutely inspired. He's had a difficult rite of passage, has Gabriel Hoffman. But he's definitely coming up. Trump's now is up the inside of Pappenberg. Goes Schoen, Hoffman. And Janssen all in one fell swoop. Maximilian Pirsch is a little bit further behind as Pappenberg gets back up the inside for position. Uh, and that is for fifth on the road because what's happened is that uh, Jakub Gasparovic and Drago Savicil Kultai are 5.8 seconds up the road. And we've got just over a minute and 30 still to go. Third place, not quite decided yet, but it's being led by Paul Schoen. Gabriel Hoffman up from 12th position to 4th. Tom Pappenberg, Noah Janssen, Branislav Rentka now goes, tries to go up the inside of the uh, FM Racing driver for 6th position. Can't get through on that particular occasion. But what a battle royale we have. And it is from, wait for it, 2nd to at least, I count it, 10th position. And they are covered by 1.6 seconds. So there's an opportunity here for some drivers to go for it as Pappenberg looked up the inside of Hoffman. Hoffman saw the move and anticipated. Noah Janssen looking to get the cut back on Pappenberg going through turn five. Gets a good run on the CRG driver. Neat, uh, t tucks up neatly behind the rear bumper of the 48 going into the next left-hander and now into the next right so some good racecraft here but now Paul Schoen has, put, uh, has pushed down the hammer and has started pulling away so now Gabriel Hoffman has got a fight on his hands for fourth position having started 12th on the grid there's Tom Pappenberg there's Noah Janssen who was in third but Paul Schoen has got some daylight we're on to the penultimate lap of the race and the gap between the two leaders still led by Jakub Gaspardovic. It's all Paul Schoen trying to... That's, uh, that's Pappenberg going up the inside of Hoffman. But then all of a sudden, where has Boris Maximov come from? Oh my goodness me. That Dutch driver is absolutely fired off. There's Brenislav Rentka. So what happened there was that uh, Hoffman was holding on for fourth position. Then all of a sudden, the floodgates started opening courtesy of Tom Pappenberg. As Hoffman up the inside of Pappenberg, Pack Pappenberg runs wide. There's Maximilian Pirch and there's Felix Kiss as well. It's all kicking off down here at the bottom of the, bottom of the top ten. And they're all squabbling for points and position in the next final. The timer has expired here in the first final for Micromax. And boy, has it been a belter. So the leaders will cross the line momentarily to start the final lap. And there is the sign that Jakub Gosvarovic needs. The Slovakian from KF Racing. One hurdle gone. One hurdle to deal with in the next final later on. And the Slovakian could be going to the International Trophy at Le Mans later on in July. But it's still not over yet. Avisil Kultai. Two tenths of a second adrift. Gabriel Hoffman fending off Maximilian Pilch for what is seventh on the road. As well as Maximov looking to go up the inside of Noah Janssen. This is for fourth on the road. Uh, there is uh, Branislav Renska trying to factor in here as well. So an absolute doozy of a battle as Janssen forces his way up the inside. And here comes Branislav Rentkin, and he's making it three rest. That could have gotten very ugly very, very quickly indeed. But Noah Janssen and Boz Maximov keep out of the way and keep out of harm's way. But in the meantime... 
We're about to have the chequered flag very, very shortly. And oh, we've had a moment there. Gabriel Hoffman, his race comes undone on the final hairpin. Mounts the back bumper, but Avisil Kultai wins the race ahead of Jakub Gasparovic by 52 thousandths of a second. That was the winning margin. Paul Schoen, 4.5 seconds behind Gasparovic in third. Noah Janssen, Branislav Renska, Boaz Maximov, Maximilian Pelch, Felix Kiss, Tom Papenberg, Michal Soltis, Jan Stenzel, Christos Malakos, Gabriel Hoffman, Marcel Zibo, Maxim Becker, Alex Manessis and Leopold Juch. What a first final out of 12 here today to kickstart the racing under the Italian sunshine. That was an epic battle. Wait until final two comes along at 20 to 2 local time here in Italy.